The Oak Openings region stretches more than 200 square miles across Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan. It has been called one of the last great places on earth and you can explore its wonders in your own backyard. The Oak Openings is home to more state listed threatened and endangered species than any other place in Ohio. It is also one of the last remaining oak savanna wet prairie complexes in the world. The oak openings region is composed of several different habitat types, all of which sustain rare plant species. The twig rush wet prairie contains the beautiful fringed gentian and cardinal flower. Mesic sand tall grass prairie in the oak openings is home to the orange fringed orchid. Our swamp white and pin oak flatwoods are known for their many ferns and also the stunning yellow ladies slipper orchid. A fourth habitat type is the Midwest sand barren. This rare habitat is home to many fascinating plants such as the prickly pear cactus. The habitats of the oak openings also include familiar oak blueberry forest complexes. The last habitat type that can be found in the oak openings is the black oak and lupin barren. Amazing plants grow here, including pacoon and wild blue lupin. Wild blue lupin is an amazing and beautiful part of the oak openings. To see a field of lupin in full bloom in May is absolutely breathtaking. Not only is wild lupin a stunning addition to the region, but it is also of vital importance to many creatures that call this place home. Butterflies, such as the Perseus duskywing, frosted elfin, and the carner blue, which is a federally endangered species, all depend on the lupin as a food source. The larvae of these butterflies rely heavily on wild blue lupin as a host plant while they grow and mature. Without wild blue lupin, there would be no carner blue butterflies. Lupin also fixes nitrogen to enrich the nutrient-poor, sandy soils it thrives in, which allows other plants to thrive. However, wild blue lupin is dependent on fire to burn away organic debris and remove encroaching competition, such as shrubs, saplings, and invasive non-native plants. In the past, we have suppressed wildfire in the oak openings. Consequently, the population of blue lupin and the organisms that depend on it have suffered. More recently, land managers of local parks and preserves have reintroduced fire to the oak openings through prescribed burning. As a result, the plants and animals that were in danger of extirpation from the region are beginning to recover. As more of the oak openings region is managed, more rare and endangered plants are growing and re-establishing themselves here. One of the major threats to the plant community of the oak openings is invasive plant species. Plants that are not native to the region, such as burning bush, common and glossy buckthorn, purple loosestrife, garlic mustard, privet, canary reed grass, multiple species of honeysuckle, spotted knapweed, barberry, and several others have taken advantage of fire suppression and excessive nitrogen in the environment in order to establish themselves and crowd out our native plants. Brush management, prescribed fire, and selective removal of invasive plants has helped to combat non-native plants and create a habitat for native plants. If you are interested in stopping the spread of invasive species, consider adding native plants to your garden. Several local organizations, such as the Toledo Botanical Garden, the Toledo Metro Parks, the Olander Park System, the Nature Conservancy's Kitty Tide Preserve, and the Oak Openings Chapter of Wild Ones offer information and experience on creating your own native garden. The Oak Openings is truly a one-of-a-kind region in which geology, biology, and ecology come together in a unique and unexpected way. From sand dunes to wet prairies, we have a variety of plants, animals, and habitats in our own backyards that cannot be found anywhere else. 
whether it's a glorious field of wildflowers swaying in the breeze, or a vibrant songbird skimming above the treetops, no matter where you look in the oak openings, there is always something that will amaze you. Take the initiative today and get involved in protecting and restoring one of the world's last great places.